Let me know when you're ready. I'm already recording. I mean, hello there. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> this is eShadow. And this is Izix. Hooray! High five. No. <laughs> so, uh, I only get the face five. Well, let's try it again. Uh, three. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. Lots of five. <laughs> it's not fair. You have more health than me now. <laughs> Actually, and it wasn't doing anything to me either. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, really. Anywho. So, uh, we're back here on the Dragon Orbit server. E-Shadow. E-Shadow's feeling very sexy today. Mm -hmm. with, with his shades, you know. Alright. I got a mine card in my head, I think, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. And I'm gonna put my helmet back on, in case you try to punch me in the face again. Of course, I could just magic you instead. That's true. Bad Batman jokes last time. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, you've been uh, working on some things, eh? Uh, what makes you say that? Well, there's this giant pylon thing in the middle, for one. And yeah. We, and we have part of a roof. And a giant metal ball up there. Yeah. I like yeah, giant um, bowls. I it, mean, doesn't I, really <clears throat> it doesn't really have much of a purpose, as I said off camera, but it's pretty much just to encase that uh, cobblestone and breadstone system and kind of make it a little more like uh, machinery looking. I like it. Just something to decorate up. Uh, just been doing some odd decoration. I added a air conditioning units. Oh, yeah. Little AC units, so shouldn't be too hot in here with all these machines. Oh, no. I, I, some like it hot. I'm hot, <laughs> freaking sweet. Eh, eh, I don't know that song. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> and yeah, I've been adding like, some posts and stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. And I got to stop spinning around so fast that I don't, I can't tell my orientation anymore. Um, you were trying to figure out where the... Uh, uh, thermal or Tinker's Construct stuff is. Uh, we eventually figured it out, and as it's posted up there, there is a controller. Oh, now you have the controller. Okay. <laughs> I have two controllers. Let's go and, into the machine! And I put it inside the little cube that you made that one time. Hooray! And so now, now we have a compact Tinker's Construct room. Now, I do have to point out that uh, this is a, a gross misuse of resources... And we should all feel bad about this, but this is actually really uh, space efficient, so I, I approve. So, yeah. It was, just, <laughs> it was literally just a little fun way to move the Tinker's Construct Forge out of the way, because I really thought it was out of place. Yes. <laughs> uh, just in the middle of this factory. Sort of this medievalish sort of pit of smelting, and yeah. All right, we're going to do some computer technology stuff today. Hey, would you like a sword, sir? Um... Yes, Jenkins. Um, I would delightfully have a sword, but uh, oh, we're, we're, we're working, we're working on circuit boards today. Sword. <laughs> uh, Jenkins, um, what are you doing? We're trying to record. Time, sir. Sword. Um. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. I need to stop drinking <laughs> sugar. I don't know where the hell that came from, but I'm kind of glad it happened. But um, yeah. So that's. Mostly what's been going on up here, and oh my god, my camera is spazzing the heck out. Uh, yes. Get out of third person mode. I am out of third person mode. Then what's uh, wrong with your face? I don't know. So, so we've been di down here, for the most part, it looks the same. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get this um, rock crusher thing to work. Because well, we have a whole bunch of this, uh, what is it, the firestone. Which I really don't feel like trying to take out of the thing myself. I understand. This... If you want to take it out, uh, you can. You can. No, throw no, no. It I'm, I'm fine. I'll, I, I, I've I'll done just, it myself. Uh, I've, in fact, had I'll, most of this room on fire. I'll just, uh, just. But you okay, shadow. you're good. You, you can shadow. Take it out now. You shadow. I'm very disappointed, though. What? Because obviously you've not seen my second season of Restless Advancement. I have not. Because <laughs> you see, I've seen, I've seen is, fragments of your stuff. This is not how you do a rock crusher. Err. Would you like me to help you? Sure, here's a crowbar. I don't need the crowbar right now. Take it back. We need more. We need more. 
Rock crushers? Well, sort of. So you already well, got. It, cra it crafted four when I made it. Yeah, there's a reason that crafts four. Hmm. Let me uh, there we block of steel. Several of those going on. Uh -huh. All right, that should be enough, I think. All right. So I see you have some stuff here, right? Mm. Take it apart. Good, good. Destroy what you have built. Okay. Oh, keep going. All right, you can leave the chest. Don't disassemble the factory. All right, now take off the cable. Yeah, good, good, good. This torch, can't do with that. All right, now. Watch this. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Watch this. Are you watching? Yeah. Ugh. Ah. Haha, -ha, I see it's a multi block structure. Nah. Now, nah. You, now you can set it up to your heart's content. Nah. Or if you nah. are a heartless bastard, to your nah. intellectual content. There is no intellectual content here. I don't know about you, but, you know, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I think. You shadow. Oh. Am I stupid? Um. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> he pleads the fifth, everybody. After these messages, we'll be right back. Punk. Now with this, I'm guessing you probably wanted to put your uh, redstone engine uh, like here or something like that, right? Uh, so you can just pump it out. Yes. Go for it. Ooh. I don't Ooh. think you need to pull it out of that spot specifically, but yeah, we'll see. All right. So you want to put the uh, the firestone ore in there, right? Uh, e yeah. Do you want me to move it over? Quick. Ah! Thing comes up fast. <laughs> Alright, it's coming out. Now, does it work? Now, this thing does get kind of loud, by the way. I oh, will. Hopefully, I have my volume turned down low enough. Now, turn it up. Turn it up. Why? I don't want to be deaf. But I want your viewers to be deaf. No. I already <laughs> have enough volume issues these days. Alright, so. Firestone Ore goes into the rock crusher, right? Yes. And then it crushes it. And then... Clang! Raw Firestone. And it comes up the side. Yay! So what does this actually do, then? Well, you uh, can make a cut Firestone. Yes, and I believe it actually had it uses a smelting material. Hmm. With, with approximately 250 smelts. Nice. Very nice. So, I was possibly thinking it could be used for um, one of our other systems, which we're hopefully going to be doing some upgrading to. Oh? Yes. Um, without acting like the phony surprise, you've already seen this. Um, <clears throat> oh, whoa. Oh, God. Uh, uh, just stuff spitting everywhere. <laughs> what the heck? No. Stop it. No. Nope. So, see, we have a problem. We have too much crap. Uh, yeah, way, 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 way too much. Um, so I'm going to actually recommend we just sort of take some of the uh, random metal ores and just sort of put in the ME system for the time being just to uh, be able to work with it. But, but... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with this later. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, E Shadow. I, I just took all of the ores out of the MV system. So? Every single one of the... You know how you were, like, doing that quarry in the, in the nether? Yeah. Um, I actually spent, like, 
two days off and on, uh, coming in and removing every bit of ore that was in the ME system <laughs> and putting it into the sorting system out there. Hmm. And, like doing a bit more refined sorting um, and like adjusting kind of thing. Just... And I've also been trying to refine down ores that we have like excessive amounts of. Um, like lead, silver, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, that's probably why it's backing up. Hey? There's no coal in one of the slag furnaces. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Well, we could also just, like, have more uh, heaters. Uh, what do the heaters do? The heaters provide a, uh, a means to cook without actually using coal. Oh. Yeah. So, would you like me to make a few more of those? Uh, well, considering that I have plans for this room, um, I want to make a system where we actually have a factorization system for every individual ore. So, yes? Yes, but right. it's probably going to be more than a couple of them. So, like a dozen, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Um, okay, a gross? I went through... A Google. Uh, I'll make a Google, okay. A Google. <laughs> Is that a measurement? That's, uh, Google is uh, 10 to the uh, 100th. Huh. The more you know... You might need more so, clay. Um, yeah. So, basically, well, the whole point of this room is to make a system, a factorization system for every single one of the ores that... Uh, can be processed in that method. Unfortunately, there are 43 different kinds of ore that can be processed this way. Which is quite a bit. Yeah. And, like, some of these machines are kind of inexpensive to make. Like, if you look in here, I already have, let's see, quite a few of these, uh... God, what is the... Uh, Aqueous X... Uh, oh god. Accumulator. Accumulator. I'll Aqueous accumulate accumulate. you. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to set up the system in an efficient way so it's very condensed. But, again, I don't... I'm not as enhanced with all this modded server shenanigans. Sh well, th th this is how you learn, though. You do it by, by building... Oh my god, it's a million degrees in this room. E shadow. E shadow, e shadow. Mm. Hold still. How you feel now? <laughs> it's not helping. I'll, okay, I'll use my chill spell on you instead. No. <laughs> I know it's I know it seems impossible a Canadian that's freaking hot. So um, hot. But, yeah, it's, like, it's really warm for this time of year. You see, folks, the uh, uh, Canada melted due to global warming, so all the uh, polar bears are out, and they're hungry. So he has to go hide in a boiler room, because that's the only place they won't go. Sure. <laughs> go with that. <laughs> but, um, so basically what I've just been doing in here is expanding the room long enough that we can actually have a couple of rows of systems going. We'll need to figure out the piping and the methods uh, as we go, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Of course. But that's okay. None of us do either. So, um, I do like the way you have it set up here, where uh, there's like a stagger to every ore, mm -hmm. or to at least most of them. Like you have the, the hopper systems, which do which will stagger them uh, down as needed. Because uh, that's the major problem we're getting right now with this is that we're getting backups, uh, and stuff's just like spilling over. Yes, that's bad. And unfortunately, we're also getting a lot of backups with these uh, Celic uh, assemblers. Yeah, well, part of that could be actually fixed, because the, the recipes I have there are not necessarily the most efficient. Uh, I Well, I wouldn't really know how to refine those recipes. Come with me. Uh, schematic one times tin gravel. 
Yes, but we can make new schematics that are more efficient. Come with me, and you'll see a whole world of pure schematication. So much stuff down here. So, you may have noticed this little guy over here. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. This is how you make schematics. So basically, you put the little schematic there and the and the thing up, up top. And yeah. then you uh, look up your recipe of interest. So we're looking for some uh, clean... What sort of clean things do you want? Uh, uh, let's do a better version for clean gold or something. Gold? Uh, Ultras, Eulorium, gold. So... That's not the one. Alright, have to wait for the bucket. There we go. There we go. Now you click on the little right schematic thing. See it? Yeah. Do it. Click it. Now you have a new clean schematic for the gold. Okay, so that only needs one bucket of water to clean eight of these. Yeah. This is so much better. Yeah, because uh, how much buckets of water was it to clean just what was going on down there uh one for one. Oh wow that was... <laughs> yeah that's uh <laughs> significantly better because like i could i was noticing that the uh the water pumping system just couldn't keep up with it uh it would just be completely out of water uh after each uh craft yeah that, that's that's bad i should have done it right the first time my jetpack's depleted. Stop flying everywhere. I must fly everywhere. <laughs> but it's inefficient. All right. That's why we have a charging system. I'm looking for a good place to set up a clay factory. A clay factory? Yeah. Is there a way to make clay? Yeah. I think I might put it over here. Oh. Heck. Let's Let's see. See. Oh, there it is. This is actually a terrible place to put it. <laughs> uh, I'll put it further back. Oh, you can make clay using blood magic. Yes. Yes, we can. Sludge <laughs> boiler. <clears throat> what are you thinking? A sludge boiler or blood magic? I'm actually going to be using the uh, mariculture. Fat. Oh, was that the one that I kept making by accident? I don't know. Maybe. A couple of them in the uh, Emmy system, so anything's possible, really. Yeah, that was the one I kept making by accident. Right. I was trying to make the bloody tin canisters. And is ta da! Uh, All right. I used to actually being able to run around and not just jet my way around. Cool. Uh, now, I think I can do it like that. Tin. There's the gold. That's gold. So we got water in there. Is it putting in dirt? I don't know. Where'd the dirt go? Wow, that's significantly more efficient. I know I am. What? <laughs> Is a... <laughs> so I got uh, 13k of dirt. Um, some carrots. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can uh, turn some of this into clay. So we can make more uh, heaters. Now, I might have accidentally... Uh, put an ore into process through the pulverizer because I didn't realize that it had a, um, a factorization method. Yeah. Granted, it's not really an ore that I, that we seem to have a major purpose for. Um, exomite. Uh, the vexorite. Pyroxian. Pyroxian dust. The green stuff. Yeah. I use that for my armor sometimes. <laughs> Well, you still have plenty for your armor. Yay! Because it ended up with, like... A whole uh, bunch, I saw. <laughs> a whack load of stacks. How much do we have that stuff? 
Uh, yeah, working our way up. Uh, oh god. That's a lot. I need to move these uh, furnaces and stuff downstairs at some point. We have 18 levers. Now we have 17 levers. <laughs> so much junk in my inventory. Oh, dirty. Dirty lead. Dirty, dirty ores. Let's drop that schematic in there. I really don't care about it. I think this could work. Oh yeah, and I was also kind of abusing the jetpack's ability just because I know we uh, have a secondary jetpack right now that's constantly staying in the charger. Yep. <laughs> All right, this so, is, isn't working as I planned. So it's just making dirt? No, it's just putting dirt in and taking it back out. <laughs> oh. I want an efficient way to make clay. This isn't, mm. this isn't working. Hmm. Not clay, or claw, clay! Hmm. Um... I guess it could make sludge? Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. That. It takes two, mil two MB uh, molten dirt. Oh, molten dirt. How do I make molten dirt? Um, fluid uh, regis registry? No, that, that's not actually a thing. Oh, I see now. Fish products, um, molten dirt. Apparently, that's not a thing. Alas, foiled again. <laughs> I'd have to like finagle with fish. And I don't really plan to do that. <laughs> so this device is useless, but I'll leave it in place because who knows? Maybe someone will come up with something to do with it. I guess Failed I gotta experiment. go. I guess I gotta go uh, dig. <laughs> It's it's one of the rare things we actually do anymore is actually go <laughs> looking for materials. Like I actually had to go and chop wood a little while ago, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm a caveman. Because <laughs> we're living in the future. I'm actually chopping my own trees. Thankfully, there's uh, plenty of uh, what you call it uh, clay in the vicinity. Just kind of have to keep an eye out for it. Oh boy. I know! Oh boy! Oh, I found a quarry. Where? Huh? Um, I was thinking if we were gonna make a compressed system, we'd probably want to make it like in a column, like straight up and down. Yeah. Um, and so I was digging the floor lower in the room, uh, with our factorization systems in it. Yep. Yeah. And I found the quarry. <laughs> Oh, it was bound to happen eventually. Well, it's going to save me a little digging in a bit. Liquefied dirt. Really? Liquefied <laughs> dirt? You mean mud? Yeah. <laughs> and remember, folks, mud spelled backwards is dumb. They're not oh, spelled folks. correctly. Oh, bugs bunny. <laughs> Misinforming us about hilarious stuff. Okay. So, ah! Don't fall into the quarry. So, uh, uh, of the lot of us, uh, uh, what, what, what Looney Tunes do you think we all are? Uh, of the lot of us. Yes. I can safely say, and thank God for this, that none of us are Yosemite Sam. <laughs> oh no, I'm the one who has the blunderbuss. <laughs> yeah, but you don't just go shooting it out of your pockets all, every time uh, you, like, walk by. You think um, I should? <laughs> you might shoot yourself. I always thought as a kid that that was really dangerous of them. Oh, true. 
It's like you are shooting that thing straight down, basically into your pants. No, I guess maybe uh, I'm more of an Elmer Fudd, technically, with my gun. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Uh, it's a cartoon series that had its day, and unfortunately, it's it's been rebooted a bunch of times, and I guess mixed good and bad ways. Indeed. You will never beat the original Bugs Bunny and Tweety show. Thousands of years ago, at the beginning of time. There existed a TV show that actually knew what a sense of humor was. Yes. And it wasn't terrible. Alright, I have made 55 heaters. Is that enough? Um, <laughs> I think so. Oh no, it's raining. Uh... I'm going to make some lead wire, too. Uh, there's a whole stack of it in here. Well, we'll have an extra. We'll have an <laughs> extra four stacks. Now, there is one downside, though, to uh, using the factorization uh, devices and such for uh, for uh, heating, is that they don't really work when the sun's not out. Yeah. Um, you need to get to work on controlling the sun. But I want to destroy the sun. No, you need to <laughs> control it. You're digging a hole. Yep. Do you big one? Do you want to do the worm? No. <laughs> I still need to link you that song. Anyway. <laughs> Besides, um, I'm pretty sure the tremors would find that very offensive. You mean the um. Or, the oh. or that dance. It's, well, it's not the dance, it's the song. There's a hole in the ground and I want to do the worm. There's a hole in the ground and I want to do the worm. <laughs> I know I've talked about this like 15 times so far during the series. and um, Not to me, actually. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've, or... I've left you confused before. Either that or I just wasn't paying attention. Well, that is true, you, you don't pay attention. Sometimes, yeah, I don't really pay attention. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a mind wanderer. I uh, I went exploring out into the wilderness, and I uh, came across something. Uh. Yay? That sounded like it hurt, so maybe nay? I'm, I'm just coming over. Oh, yeah, your terrain digger thing. Yeah. Are you ready for uh, this? It's like, it doesn't care except for like those things there. Take that, biomessence ore. Everything else uh, is like paper. Oh, uh, damn biomessence. <laughs> Even though mine's not quite as fast, I can still do this. I just unlocked an entry. Munch, 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 Robert Munch. Just eats the terrain. So does my hammer. You know, this almost uh, calls for a Paul Bunyan esque uh, challenge of some sort. A Paul Bunyan esque challenge? Yes, uh, so the legend goes that Paul Bunyan, who is like, I don't know, a thousand feet tall or something like that, he cut down trees for a living. He had a giant blue ox named Babe. Uh, but that's kind of irrelevant to the one I'm talking about here. <laughs> The, uh, you see, uh, he had a, uh, he, he was, like, really good at, like, cutting down trees, and so he, he, like, went to Minnesota, cut down most of their trees, and then, like, went out west, like, there's more trees over here, I have to cut them down. Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota. But, uh, you know, he gets, uh, he gets challenged by this guy with, like, a, a chainsaw, and he's like, I bet I can cut down more trees than you, Paul Bunyan, and Paul Bunyan's like, I'm going to accept that challenge because I'm huge and can swing my my axe and cut down a, a tree with a single swing. And the guy's like, well, I can do that with my chainsaw. Despite not being a thousand feet tall. Or forty feet tall or something. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. 
Whee! <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the, the guy was, you know, so they had a, a competition. Paul Bunyan versus the guy with the chainsaw. Um, you're, you're Paul Bunyan in this case. Huh. Which means I win. Hooray! Sure. Because <laughs> the guy with the chainsaw, like, beat him by, like, one tree. Well, I, it could be a close race. I mean, the guy with the chainsaw, yeah, you can... Uh, yeah, you can dig them, like, automatically, but... I don't know. Maybe I maybe it was anticipated to be some kind of, like, more or less. I was like, don't take the easy route, kids. Oh, it's it's more of a, uh, a recognizing the uh, the march of progress. You know, that... Oh. Uh, you know, Paul Bunyan is sort of a a, a mythical figure in uh, Americana. You know, uh, a legend, as it were. But it sort of recognizes that, yeah, you know, this is all fun and good, you know, good and such, but, you know, time marches on. Things change. You know, uh... Yeah. You, know, you don't have to be a billion feet tall and to be able to uh, be an efficient uh, lumberjack. Yeah. Well, Corey's out of the way. Hooray! Um, I wasn't expecting that to actually happen. I hit the yep. frame and it just like... <laughs> yeah, it just pops. It's like a, a special entity or something like that. 